Hello, my name is Monica Gaga and welcome to my workshop. In this workshop, we're going to be connecting the five ways to well-being to improv. Um, when I was given the opportunity to uh, create a workshop, I was thinking, oh, there's so many different things that I love about um, improv. Maybe I should do this or I should do that. And I know I'm just listing things that um, I'm not actually saying in words, but there was lots of things buzzing around in my mind. And I thought, oh, actually, Monica, what you need to do is maybe just take a little bit of note of how you've been feeling at the moment and maybe go from there. So that's where this workshop was created. So the five ways to well-being are five key actions that scientists um, have figured out to have a really strong connection with our health and well-being. So if we connect, if we give, if we take note, if we stay um, active, if we um, keep learning, they say that these five actions um, will contribute to us having a healthy uh, mental health um, and well-being. And I feel like these five things are something that we already do in improv. So if you're doing improv, you're probably hitting these points anyway. And I just wanted to hit these points a little bit um, home even more. So the first one is connect. So connect is about connecting with oneself and also um, connecting with others. Um, I'm not sure um, how you are at the moment. I'm not sure where you are at the moment, but connecting with people is so, so important. As improvisers, um, if you're watching this video, you're probably interested in um, improv or you just saw the thumbnail and thought, oh, I'll give this a go. But as improvisers, we love improv. <laughs> but sometimes we can find ourselves um, within the community and only connecting with people in the community, the improv community, and only talking about improv. And this is awesome and it's great and it's loving and it's comfortable. Well, I hope it is. And if it's not, um, uh, go somewhere where it is. Um, it's great, but it's not so healthy for having us grow as um, human beings. And also it's not so healthy for having um, different things to inspire our improv and make us grow into even better improvisers. So the first thing I'm going to say with Connect is I want you to write an oral letter um, to someone that you haven't seen for a really long time. So the first activity is, in your mind, think of someone that you haven't seen for a long time. It might be the case, and bear with me and only do what you feel comfortable with, it might be the case that it's someone that's passed away. It might be a case of like you've got your friends, but your ship's in the night and you always seem to miss each other's um, uh, voice notes or messages and things like that, but you're still like in each other's lives. Or it could just be someone that you just lost contact with. But I want you to write them a letter. So starting now, just improvise a letter to them. So you say, dear this person, and have a little chat with them. And have a little, well, however you write a letter, and a little update on what you've been doing as well. So I will give you time to do that and you can pause the video now. Great. Welcome back. So, well done. It's nice to be able to connect with um, someone that you haven't seen for a, a while. And that was just improvising. And it's partly on yourself. But how about actually just connecting with somebody? So, that person you wrote a letter to, if you could, give them a ring. Or if you can't, find someone else. Connect with people. The more that we're around um, a di different group of people, the more characters, inspiration that we can draw from. Okay, so that was connect and let's go on to give. I feel like improv is so much about giving. It's about, and I'm sure you've heard this before, it's about making your partner look really, really good. So what we're going to do now for this activity is look out how we can give gifts to um, our, our, our partner, but in a safe way. So I feel like when you give a gift to the partner, it's about sharing the load, not just hoofing over massive baggage to them. For example, a gift to a partner um, when you're doing improv might be, oh, have you got something to tell me? Because you're giving them an opportunity to let their imagination run, run wild. But on the other hand, it might be the case that oh, that's a bit too much for them. So give them a gift, but, but show them that you're there to support them as well. So for example, oh, have you got something to tell me? You feel like they're not saying anything. Or would you like me to guess? It's up to you. So you're giving your partner an opportunity to share if they want to. You're giving them the space. But you're also saying, hey, I've got your back. 
So let's try that with a couple of other things. So for example, it might be the case that, like I just gave you of saying to someone, hey, have you got something to tell me? Or would you like me to guess? Or it might be the case of giving someone a gift. So going, ah, oh, I've got this for you. Open it. Or do you want me to tell you what's in there? I'll tell you exactly if you want. Or would you prefer to open it? So giving people an opportunity to one, take the um, the offer and run with it or saying, hey, I've got your back and I'm not just um, here to leave you um, in the deep end. Now, I'm just going to give you a little bit of time now to think about some other offers that you can give to um, your fellow improvisers on stage and ways that you can show that you're supporting them as well. So you can pause the video now to have some time to think. Hello and welcome back. Oh, awesome. If you've got a few there, I would always say like improvisation is definitely about being in the moment, being um, 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 present and taking notice, which we're going to be moving on to in a moment. But also I feel like it's a skill that you need to exercise. So actually be listening and being a, um, a giver is something that you can practice. The more you practice, the easier it comes and then it becomes just second nature. Now, the next thing is take notice. So taking notice is about being aware of everything around you. Everything is an offer. For example, if you're doing um, a live show or if you, um, you're doing a live show but you're at home and you hear a large noise, that's an offer. Like we can't ignore that there's like some, an ice cream van out, outside. So we could apologise for it or we could just make it part of the show. Um, but what we're going to focus on now with this activity is just taking notice of ourselves. And it's got a little bit to do with um, connection as well. So what I want you to do is to take a deep breath. To close your eyes. And to really take notice of how you're feeling. Are you comfortable? Are you uncomfortable? What is your temperature like? Are you feeling nervous, anxious, excited, bored? Is your head scarf too tight? I'm talking about myself. <laughs> do you feel uncomfortable with, with your clothes? What do you smell? And really take notice of how you're feeling. And lean into it. So if you take a moment and actually you feel quite sad, say it in your head, I'm feeling a bit sad. And then use that opportunity to improvise a character. So I'm going to give you some time now. So what you need to do is just take a moment, close your eyes, take a deep breath in, deep breath out and continue breathing. And then really take notice of how you're feeling and then create a character from there. So, for example, if I was feeling, a, um, I said I was feeling a bit sad, I'm going to go into the character of feeling not so great. So it might be the case of me going. I'm not quite sure. You know, they always say there's no wrong answers, but I feel like if there is going to be a wrong answer, Meryl, you're going to get it wrong. And there's my, there's my character. Now it's your turn. You can pause the video now. Hey, welcome back. The next action we're going to look at is keep learning. I feel like by turning on this video anyway, you're like, you're in a mind space of like, oh, I'm here to learn. Why not? As one activity. After you finish watching this video, watch another video in, in, um, in the feed. And as another thing of keep on learning is I want you to watch something or um, listen to something that you wouldn't usually. We've all got the kind of things like I'm not sure if you're a Netflix or Amazon Prime or if you like SoundCloud. But, you know, when you're searching through like different medias and you're like, oh, you know what you're kind of drawn to all the time. 
try exploring something that you're not usually drawn to. So, for example, if you really love documentaries, watch a rom-com. If you are literally um, addicted to rom-com, watch a true crime. It's really important to have a diverse intake because if we've got more diversity in our lives, we're able to improvise in a more diverse way and also a more creative way. And I feel like diversity only br brings in more creativeness. So I'm going to say pause the video now because it's like a concept that I've started already. But like pause the video, but just only for a little bit and then come back because um, I want you to, after this video, go and watch something different. Okay, pause the video now. Welcome back. What did you do? Did you pause the video or was you just like, oh, actually, Monica, I'm just going to carry on watching. <laughs> um, the next thing and the last thing we're going to be looking at is being active. So being active is a really important part of our health and well-being. But also, it's a great way to clear, clear our minds. So next time you go for a little bit of exercise, and if you're like, I never go for exercise, next time you go for a walk, and that might just be up and down your stairs, or if you're lucky enough in your garden, or take a walk outside outside if you can um, and I want you to play word association but with the world around you so if you're walking down the street you see a car see what the word you can associate from that and go forward back and forth a few times or just use each different thing that you're looking around you by taking notice well done that is another one of the five ways to well-being use that as an um, as your inspiration so for example I'm walking down the street I'm keeping active, even though I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I should be at home, maybe doing some work, but now I'm taking in the things around me and I see a car. So what do I associate with car? Whatever the word is, is the right word. So let's just have a practice now. So I'll be the outside um, and I'll give you a word and you just um, um, say a word back to me that you associate with the word I've just said. For example, if someone says car, um, you might say seat or you might say something different because we've all got different experiences. So I'll be the outside and just say what you is associated with the word I've just said. Oh, that was garbled, but I hope you know what I mean. Okay. Chair. Bin. Cat. Ball. Park. Rubbish. Skip. Gravel, pothole, windscreen wiper, the sound of birds, sunlight, a little bit of a chill, people arguing. And if you want to, for example, if you're not around a lot of people, say it out loud. But if you're not, you can also just say it in your head. This is another way, great way of getting your practice and your rhyming in as well. So you can go around and also just rhyme with things that you see. So you might see, and I'll start again with a car. You might go car, bar, bar, narlocks or narwhale. <laughs> Thank you so much for um, bearing with me. Thank you so much for um, taking yourself, being open to learning something different. So. Hopefully you pause the videos where you're supposed to pause the videos or you just watch the thing all the way through and you're going to do um, those things. But remember, you can do it in improv and you can just do it in life. But remember to connect, to give, to take note, to keep learning and to be active. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your day, evening or whatever time it is for the rest of your life. Thank you.